Hello Space Cats, I'm Dr Maggie Liu and welcome back to my channel. Every month on Earth, the moon disappears. This new moon is a natural phenomena due to its orbital position around the Earth. On Venus, there's a moon that also seems to disappear, although not for the same reasons. In this week's video, we're going to be talking about the mystery of Venus's moon. Venus is the second planet from the Sun, and like other inner solar system planets, Mercury, it has no moons. Well, actually, that's not quite true. Francesco Fontana was a 15th century Italian astronomer who built his own telescopes to observe the night skies. He would make woodcuts to log the astronomical phenomena that he observed. In 1636, he made the first drawing of Mars and discovered that it rotates. Using one of Franco's telescopes, another Italian astronomer, Giovanni Zuppi, discovered the stripes of Jupiter, which later Franco observed and drew himself. Francesco is known to have made six drawings of Venus. The first in 1643 recorded Venus's phases, showing the sunlit surface of the planet gradually changing as it moved from noon to full over the course of 584 days. In the first image, he observed that only 17% of the planet's surface was illuminated, and in the last image, 35% of the planet's surface was illuminated. From simulations today, we know that these observations were extremely accurate. He also noted that the illumination is unequally distributed, that the light is actually dimmer near the concave edge. Today, we know this as the terminator shading, where the terminator is the line separating the light from the dark and is caused by the angle at which the sunlight hits the surface. In 1645, Francesco made a discovery which he noted does not always appear, but only appears when Venus is shimmering. These little dots were not always seen in the same situation on Venus, but they move back and forth like fish in the sea. This woodcut drawing is what he saw. The white dot is Venus and the grey circle is the moon. In the second image, we see possibly even two moons. This was the first known recording of Venus's moon Neith, named after the Egyptian goddess of mystery. However, it was not the last. Franco made four observations of Neith in total, and then Giovanni Cassini spotted it in 1672. However, it remained relatively unknown until he discovered it again in 1686 and announced the discovery. Between 1645 and 1768, 36 observations of Neith were made by various astronomers all over the world, but equally several astronomers failed to observe the elusive moon too. The observations even allowed for the calculations of Neith's orbit, 11 days and 3 hours. Some astronomers argued that Neith was not actually a moon, but instead a planet, one that orbits the sun every 283 days and happens just to be in conjunction with Venus every 1080 days. This does fit in with all of the sightings of Neith. Today, however, thanks to many missions that have explored and studied Venus, such as the Soviet Venera missions and ESA's Venus Express, today we can say with certainty that Neef does not exist. So has Neef ever existed or can it be explained by something else? In 1765, the director of the Vienna Observatory speculated that the observations of Neef were actually optical illusions, that Venus was so bright that it reflected back into the eye, into the telescope, um, creating an illusion of a secondary object. Other astronomers believed that the sightings could be explained by stars in the same part of the sky as Neef. 
Remember back then, the telescope resolution was much poorer than those that we have today. And another explanation is that Neith was in fact an asteroid either passing by or trapped by Venus's gravitational pull. In 2002, an asteroid was detected orbiting around Venus, the first such object to be orbiting a major planet. However, later it turned out the asteroid was actually orbiting the Sun. Later in 2013, Venus was found to have a Trojan, an asteroid sharing Venus's orbit. So it is a plausible explanation. Either way, the mystery of Neef remains unsolved. Neef is not there now. Venus has no moons. But did it just disappear? I guess we will never know. What do you think happened to Neef? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. And if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe.